In this video, I will show you how to achieve a beautiful new flay circle design. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now this is my fabric. I have it folded into four equal parts. My new flay measurement is 37.5 inches. And I'll add extra half inch for the closing allowance, making it 38 inches. Now to get the radius, I will divide the flay by 6.28. My new measurement is 37.5 inches. I have to divide it by 6.28. That is 5.9, approximately 6 inches. So I have to take the radius to determine where my 6 inches is. Okay, my radius will be 3.5 inches. I will take it around this edge, 3.5 inches round i've measured it round now the next thing is to mark the measurements i need which is 24 inches so i have to take 24 inches round for this peplum i want one side to be high now because the length is not equal the next thing i will do before i cut off this circle part i'll make a line or rather put a notch either to make a line or to put a notch but make sure this is the center which is the tip i'll open it up you can see this is the dot then from this point i'll fold it i'll check the side that, that has 24 inches of length which is this side is 24 inches after the radius if i remove the radius from this point i will take the 3.5 round i'll take it round from the center i'll join the lines together to make a circle Now from this side, I will check the length here. This side as well is 24. Because the lengths are not equal, now I will shift this point here. With my straight ruler, I will mark from this point to take the straight line. Can you see? Can you see I'm having a circle there. Then I'll shift this point to this point. This 3.5, I'll remove it from this point to have another line created another circle so from this point here i'll take another 3.5 round this point now will serve as my main radius Now I'll be folding this side. You can see by the time I fold it, this is what I'll be having. You can see I've reduced the front side. Then I'll go ahead and fold it again. You can see this is now a new side where I'll place my measurement. You can see. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out. You can see. I'll put a notch at the two edges. This is the easiest way to achieve your high and low knee flip peplum. You can see. 
Now I will fold this side into two to make sure I curve it very well. You place the two notch side together. To make sure that it rhymes. I'll go ahead and trim it because my fabric is not equal why I folded it but if your own is equal it's very much easier to achieve it immediately you reshaped the circle it will fall on its own you can see I've made the curve it has not come out very well is the curve Then I'll go ahead and place it, you can see. This is the front, while this is the back. Now I'll go ahead and attach it to my dress. Now, remember I've already notched. This point that I notch will be the line, my seam line for the dress. So I'll go ahead and place my fabric like so. So I'll place the notch part at these two sides, same line. I'll place the fabric, you can see. This is the right side of the dress. I'll face the right side of my peplum to the right side of the fabric. That is my dress that I've made. Now, the notch part to rhyme the same line, the two sides same line. This is how it is. The same thing to the second side, you can see the same line should rhyme with the notch parts. So I'll go ahead and sew through it. I'm sewing with half an inch. So guys, I'm done joining it. The next thing I'll do is to use my bias tape to turn the hemline. After then, I'll tell you the next thing we'll be doing. So guys, after making it, this is how it looks. You can see the front side is shorter while the back side is longer. You can see. So guys, make sure you try it out. You can see how it looks, how gorgeous it looks.
can decide to make it to be shorter by dragging the rope. can see so guys make sure you try it out how do you feel about this tie just drop your comment at the comment section don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends keep watching for more styles bye until i see my next video bye